Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be a continuation of the Barman Hero Let's Play. The last episode, whatever episode that was, I have not been keeping track, and this is the reason why I need to go back to making 30 minute episodes. So, last, last one, we ended off at pretty much trying to fight that boss, and I kept dying, and... I gotta say that some of my commentaries or some of my videos or episodes, if you will, they have not been great. I think I've already explained this before. This is why I need to keep track of what I have and what I need to talk about. So let me go ahead and copy this right here just in case if something goes bad because I have no idea what's going on right now. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Press start. And one of the things I need to do is finish this game. And I gotta keep positive, I gotta keep the energy going. Because with my Super Mario 64 Let's Play, which by the time you see this video, it's already gonna be over, but I like it. I like I like how my Super, Super Mario 64 Let's Play went. And what I need to do is keep that momentum and keep that energy up for this one. It was a great practice, or this one's going to be great practice, whatever you want to call it. I'm not even paying attention anymore. What am I even doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I honestly don't know. Like, seriously, I can't remember what I was trying to do. Okay, it's been a while since I've played this game. Bear with me, bear with me as I am trying to figure out what I need to do. What I need to do is collect some bombs and collect some fire so I can so I can be a little bit more powerful, but I have no idea where to find them in this one. Seriously. Or do I have to collect them in a different world? That's just, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna collect it in a different world. I'm sorry, it's been a long time since I've actually picked up this game again because I was getting frustrated with this game due to the fact that I kept failing. That was a major thing. I kept failing. Let's see if this will work. I really hope this works. If not, then I have no idea what to do. Whew. I can't remember which world it was for me to collect stuff. God dang, it's been so, so long. Okay, let's try this. Ah, this beautiful, beautiful spot. Oh God, now I know why. Okay, trying to remember, trying to remember. And don't worry people, I will be doing jump cuts. Oh god! Due to the fact, like, it's gonna help me out in the long run. Especially with the amount of time I've been wasting, trying to collect some stuff, trying to redo some stuff, the amount of failing that I have been doing in the, in the past few episodes, it's just gonna be very, very helpful. So that's one of the advantages of having jump cuts in your Let's Plays or in any video in general that you've been doing. It's just going to be very, very beneficial for everybody. Nobody wants to see so much time being wasted doing one thing or another. I'm just going to go over here. Get that. Okay, this is going to be an easy level. This is an easy level. Okay, just go over here. Jump over there. This is going to be an easy level for me to collect all the stuff that I need and come back to the last spot. So I'm going to be doing a jump cut. I'm going to be trying to remember what I've been trying to do. So yeah, it's going to be one of those things. Sorry people, sorry people. I'm, I'm Right now my mind's going all over the place, but it's kind of good. It's kind of good. I'll be doing a jump cut right now and getting the stuff I need to get and get back to the boss battle, which I need to be doing right here and now. Alright, I'm back. So let's let's go remember this, this beautiful, beautiful cutscene, if you want to call it that. Okay. Now that I got my mind in the right place, I believe, is that I had a little bit of soda, and whenever I have soda, it gets me a little bit more hyper. So, I'm trying to remember what I needed to do, remember my past episodes, and what I could do to be better. So, if you were not impressed by a few of the episodes behind this one, I apologize. It's like, I was getting really, really frustrated with the fact that I've been making a very long recording, it seems like no progress has been made, being made, and I just didn't want to stop there. So, what I just, what I did was just, I went along with it. I'm like, if it's bad, then it's bad. I want to show people that not every Let's Play is going to be perfect. That laugh, god dang. And that whip. My god, this kitty is getting a little bit rough. So, what I want to tell you guys is that I do apologize if the past episodes, whether it be a few episodes or perhaps even many of the episodes, if they were not good, I apologize for that. 
I'll make my let's plays better from here on out. If I do get frustrated, you're going to hear me get frustrated. And then I will be doing jump cuts here and there. Except for the when I do do some fails. I'm just going to leave that in there because, you know, fails are funny. No matter what you say, it's funny. Whew, excuse me. So one of the things is that this this boss battle brings me so much heartache. Because I cannot, I, I just can't do it. I'm trying to know, I'm trying to figure out how I can actually do this one without getting myself killed. But it is pretty difficult. Just, you have to get rid of everyone. First of all, you have to get rid of that thing. And everything is just trying to kill you. Seriously. Okay, go right here. You gotta be careful not to hit the cat because that's gonna damage you as well. And this robot, it's one of the tougher ones there. Oh god, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart this one because the thing is, if you restart it, your health goes back and you don't lose anything and you don't lose a life as well. So, it's going to be very, very great if you actually keep restarting due to the fact like, if something goes bad, you have another chance at it. I did figure this out because when I saw my first few episodes, yes, I went back to see a few first few of them. You're already, well, I can't even talk about this now. Why am I trying to date my videos? God dang, that's the thing you never do. Well, the first videos you see... I didn't do much of jump cuts. And then some of the other ones, I'm going to be doing more and more jump cuts because I fail for like literally 30 minutes. There's like a video. I did a four hour recording and about half of that has to do with fails. Leave me alone, you bomb. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Can I? No. Can... No. Leave me alone. Okay. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Oh God. Oh God. Go away. So, I'm going to try to be more energetic for the, for the final episodes. I'm going to try to do better, if anything else. Since I actually had a very great time with doing Super Mario 64, I've given this game a break. And I'm back to it. You're probably going to see more positive energy for the last few episodes. Whatever or how, however or how long this, this whole entire Let's Play is going to take. And then on the next Let's Play, I can guarantee it's going to be way better than this Bomberman Let's Play. I kind of regret not being so energetic. But again, it's still a practice for me. It was still a practice for me. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid cat. Okay, I'm trying to... Oh, God. I'm trying to figure out how to beat this cat right here. As far as I know, you have to make her... Actually... Oh, God. I don't remember her attacks. As far as I know, you have to make her run into your bombs. That's pretty much all there is to show. As far as I know, she's not doing anything bad right here. Just keep her on the other side and you'll be good. This is actually pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. How fast... How how are you supposed to beat this boss? Seriously, go away. I want to know... I need to know the threshold. I completely forgot about the threshold. I've been, I've been wasting a little bit of time trying to beat this first boss. So apparently... God dang, I forgot about that. I've been so caught up with the commentary, I completely forgot about the thing. Stupid cat. Come on. I gotta read up a guide on how to, how to actually beat this boss. What happens if you actually run out of time? Seriously, I've never run out of time, so this is gonna be a first for me. Oh god. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Where are you gonna spawn in? Oh. Nothing? That's it? Okay. Might as well quit, because even if I do defeat the boss... Wait. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to actually exit out and see what the threshold was so that I don't have to waste you guys' time trying to beat the boss within the threshold that I do not know now. Well, this let me take the time to say this. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make it better for the rest of this Let's Play. You have my word. If you were bored for the first other episodes or for the recent episodes, I apologize for that. I cannot stop apologizing apologizing for that I want to make the best for you guys and it's really really hard for me to do that if I keep thinking like lowly of myself so I gotta work on this so let's see how well everything goes oh god god dang it come on come on come on oh god dang this is this was a great start but at the same time it just turned bad so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do a jump cut into well I think it's gonna be great and if it's not great then at least we got the commentary for there God dang it, but I think this is good. I really hope this is good, because 
I, c I cannot figure out her attack patterns. I really can't. I can't even see where she's coming from. God dang, I hate this boss battle so, so much. And yes, I keep I keep saying this over and over and over because my mind's going all over the place right now. It feels like I have ADD when it comes to drinking so much soda and having a little bit of caffeine in my system. But I gotta say, is that the fact, well, I'm going to die. If I die, then I'm going to lose my firepower. So I'm going to have to quit and try again. But I will make a commentary for this point. The major advantage of jump cuts is that it's going to save you time. It's going to save time for both the Let's Player and as well as the commentator. Well, yeah, sorry, the viewers. Due to the fact, like, the major fact thing is, like, doing recording takes a lot of time. And if a lot of time has been spent, like, trying to avoid fails or trying to... Or if a lot of time is wasted because of fails, the jump cuts will take those out and then the video will be shorter rather than just having you guys see more and more fails over and over and over. Nobody wants to see that. No one wants to see a person spending 30 minutes on one single boss battle. And right now, on this recording, oh god. Right now on this recording, I would say that I've already wasted 10 minutes trying to get some progress done with this boss battle. It's really, really difficult. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this one's very very difficult as you probably have already seen on the last episode of how many times I kept dying, it's, it's just horrible. So this is one of the things that jump cuts are a major advantage when you're doing a let's play. It's going to help a lot just cutting out the boring stuff or like when there's not much progress being made. Especially with this boss battle, so so annoying, I don't know how to defeat this boss but... It's just gonna be a thing. I gotta keep fighting it. Oh god. I gotta keep. You know what? I'm gonna try to at least destroy it. Oh god. Depending if I'm gonna actually have any health. If I'm at one health, then I'm just gonna stop and do another jump cut. Yep, I'm gonna have to do a jump cut because I really don't wanna die. So, short and short, jump cuts are good when you're doing a let's play if there's no progress whatsoever. Otherwise, you're probably gonna. I'm probably going to be sitting here for about over an hour trying to get this thing done. I'll even tell you how long I have been recording until I finally got to the point where I just defeated this boss. So I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, this seems good. This seems good. I just really hope... Oh my god, go away, kitty. Go away, kitty. I can't even tell where she's going to be jumping in from, jumping out from, but as far as I know, you just got to keep on the opposite side of her. Just... Oh god. Why, why are you so difficult this boss battle than you were in the other boss battle? Seriously. I have no idea. The major thing is, is that whenever she jumps, you hear her jump. But since my, my sound is delayed by 3 seconds, I can't tell. So as far as I know, you just gotta keep moving from the spot you're gonna come in from. Cause she's gonna jump down right at the spot you were just at. And you're just gonna have to keep her away from you and try to keep throwing bombs at her. God dang it. Get out of here. I can't even tell if she jumps or not. Oh hey, there she is. It just looks... Oh god. Get out of here. It's really, really hard to tell off screen. Oh god. Go away. Go away, kitty. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. I cannot figure out her attack pattern. I'm trying to figure it out as best as I can, but since most of the time she's off camera or off the screen, I can't tell where she's jumping in from. There she is. Oh god, hey. What's up, man? Get out of here. As far as I know, I just gotta keep throwing bombs at her. Why can't I get a bulletproof vest, or sorry, not a bulletproof vest, that blast resistance to get rid of her and not worry about killing myself with my own bombs. This would be an amazing fight. It'll be very fast. Oh, look, you're done. You're done for. What? I did it. Really? Here she is. I found the princess. Oh, wow. You're smiling still. Do you ever, ever frown? Seriously, this is like a walk in the park to you. This is nothing. Why are you still smiling? You be should you should be worried and then be happy. My god. Thank you for helping me. You're more useless than Princess Peach. Are you going to Garden to defeat Bagler? Bagler? Burglar? 
Hamburglar? I don't even know who you are anymore. Take me with you. Really? Really? Seriously? No, I don't. I don't want you to be with me. You take her. I, I really don't want it. I'll take the princess to Bomber Star. Heh, <laughs> Bomber Star. Bomber Man, Bomber Star, do you get it now? I understand. I'll wait for your return. What you gonna do for us? Are you gonna make us a cake? Or, I don't know, give us a party, make us a king? Bomber Man, please hurry back. God dang! I had to beat that boss battle within 55 or 5500? Seriously? It's bad enough that I had to defeat that giant robot, but I literally get no time whatsoever after the fact that I pretty much... Oh my god, I could do the... I could do the boss battle for the for the freaking machine at around seven or seven thousand, but then that gives me around like a minute to actually defeat the freaking kitty. God dang, I'm gonna be doing more and more jump cuts for this one. This is really, really difficult. How do people do it? I'm gonna have to look up a guide at this point. Oh look a bonus stage. Yeah, bonus stage! Bonus stage! Bonus stage! I love me some bonus stages. Come on. Come on. Yeah! We're gonna do some bonus stages. I don't know. It's just, I can't kill myself in this one. So, I think with the speedrunners is that some of the bonus stages you could kill yourself and get over it with. But in these ones, or at least this one, I don't think you can kill yourself. Especially when you have a little bit of a protective vest for you. Oh, wait. Excuse me. Haha, <laughs> nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love it already. This is an easy bonus stage, if you will. Oh god, don't want to fall. I think I spoke too soon. Oh god, whoa. No, 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 no. So, this is the bonus stage? This Is this all there is to it? I'm guessing yes. Is it? That's it. This is a bonus stage, everyone. So you got guard in. I have not collected all the Ardog bombs and I have not completely 100% of the game, but here's the thing, I gotta finish this boss battle. So, there's gonna be a little bit of jump cuts and then I'm probably gonna be looking up a guide on how to defeat this stupid, stupid kitty. Too bad she ain't a dog, otherwise I would be able to actually say it correctly without the fear of saying a swear word. It's a, it's a, it's a correct thing. It's a correct terminology. But still, it's so bad, but first I gotta actually have to go back to the other planet and heal myself, so I'm gonna be doing a jump cut, and hopefully I'll be able to defeat this little... little kitty within, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Been going at this for like 15 minutes, and god dang, it's bringing me down, so I'll be back to you guys. Well, this looks good. Honestly, it looks good. So, I have 2,500... 25, 25... I think I've only had like 30 seconds. I don't even know how long this timer goes. But I have a short amount of time to kill this stupid little little kitty right here. Ah. Come on. Die already. Die. Die, 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 die. Just die. I don't care. Just die already. I hate this cat. If I get behind 5500, then it's no point for me to actually continue on with this stupid boss battle. I just can't tell where she's coming from. And let's see. Okay, time to start over. You gotta do, you gotta do this under 5,500. I I'm, I'm gonna look up a guide on how to actually defeat her. So I'll be right back to you guys. I don't know. I don't know. As soon as the timer stopped, apparently she was already dead. So when when I saw the timer stop, I was like, why isn't it going any further? I just kept throwing bombs, kept throwing bombs, kept throwing bombs, and then I finally did it. No clue. I have no clue how I did it. 
but I did it. Whew. I looked up the guide and even even the guide is like there's no talking whatsoever. It was just pretty much a walkthrough and he just kept throwing bombs everywhere too. So I don't know. I'm I'm done. I'm glad I'm done. Whew. So what does Garden have to offer? Only one area? Oh my god. Let's get started. Whoa, that is new. I've never actually been this far in the game before. As the time for revival has come, arise Lord Bagular. So apparently this is a little bit of a robot that runs on DVDs. So you are a DVD player that tries to take over the world. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What's happening now? Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, polygons. You never cease to amaze me. Whoa. You're upside down, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It's Sam. I am alive. That laugh, though. <laughs> it's time for retribution, Bomberman. I've never met you before, so I don't know who you are, but okay, I guess I have to defeat you. Whoa! Nice HGTV there. It's been a long time, Bomberman. Seriously, I have no idea who you are. Okay. I'm impressed you made it this far. Anything else to say? You know, defeating me is impossible. I revived the four devils of Garden and... And... They are waiting for you. Ah ha ha. You could not fit in that one sentence. Come on. Oh, so that's what you guys are. Oh. So why is it? Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Whoa! Now I get even more. Whoa! Whoa! Come on. Oh, I cannot tell when he's gonna actually do his electric attack. I. See seriously cannot tell but just as long as I defeat him seriously seriously that was oh god <laughs> yeah who that was close so I'll be back I'm gonna revive my health and we'll get to the next boss boss number two and it's this guy! Hi! And I'm not flying. Wow, that is just unfair. Seriously, that is just unfair. And this is actually a good thing when I do- Oh god. That does not look right. Ugh. Well, let's say- Let me say this again. More advantages to jump cuts. If I need to do something, I could just go ahead and pause the game, come back, and then just continue on like nothing ever happened. So that's a really good advantage of jump cuts. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see, if it gets me down one heart, then I'm just gonna do another jump cut. Or, nah, I'll just quit and then come back, because this boss isn't that difficult. Maybe it is, actually, because I am bad at predicting what he's gonna do and how to dodge it. So right now, as of here, is that I have a 43 minute recording going on but you're not going to be able to see it because it's going to get cut in half or cut into fourths and that's pretty good because it just shows of how long a recording has been going on for and if you see the, all the jump cuts it cuts a lot of time away so that you don't have to waste 43 minutes for me to get to up to this point and pretty much like you don't have to waste about another 5 minutes for me to do the same thing over and over and over again so that's the reason why I like doing jump cuts now and it's gonna help out a lot so you so I don't waste your time with no progress and I could just have some time to think to myself of what I'm gonna say next. Eee! How do you dodge that? Can you even dodge that? Seriously. 
I have not dodged it yet. Whoa, come on. Come on. Whoa. God dang it. This boss is more difficult than I thought it would be. Just due to the fact that we're not flying anymore. Yep. Whoa. Get out of here. Finally, I dodged it. Thank you. Come on. Oh, God. That was stupid. And what I did realize that when I watched the video, the guy had a lot of health. And what I did realize it now, if you get 200 of those crystals, only the blue and pink crystals, no less. If you get the blue and pink crystals, oh, God. If you get 200 of them without any do without any any continuation, like any game overs, then you will have more health. And I've only gotten that once because I'm a bad person that I don't know how to play a Bomberman game. But yeah, I'm getting there. So it's, let's see what's the threshold of this one. Oh my God! So close. So I'll be back to you guys. I finally died, but I'm just going to add this in here. If you ever get this far in the game, Magma Lake is the best level. Honestly, it is. Very short, you'll be able to collect some bombs and a flame right off the bat and collect some of the gems. And you can always heal yourself in this area. So you could go here for health, you could go f you could go here for bombs and fire, and as well as that, this is a pretty quick level. I spent at least around 20 to 30 seconds just collecting everything that I need. So I'm going to show you right here and right now of how good this level is. So get that heart, get this gem, heal yourself. Don't worry about the bomb, you could actually skip that bomb. But if you actually run into it, there's, or there's already health right behind it. So you go here, pick up the little walk through walls little ability. Go around here, oh god, oh god. Will I make it? 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 And I didn't make it, but then I'll just come back here, do that all over again, collect some more gems, and then heal myself, get out of there, and get put back to the spot where I need to be. So I'll be right back to you guys again. There we go. It was easier to defeat this time. I like how he still lasts when he's about to explode and then he dies and he explodes while he dies and then it's just a little bit creepy that he dies after he explodes. Or he lasts before he explodes and dies. <laughs> okay. And what I did forget to mention that the world it's going to be for the things that you want to collect is in Planet 3 or Kinesia and it's going to be in Area 1. And as well as the level is called Magma Lake. So I'll be right back to you guys. Gonna heal myself, collect more gems, and get to boss number three. Boss number three. Who is it this time? Whoa! This guy? Really? You're gonna give me this guy again? Wait, did I even... Whoa, god dang. A little bit of revamp right there. Get out of here. Where are you gonna come out from next? Same place? Same place? Whoa! Well, you're kind of easy. I'm sorry. Oh god! Just pop your head out again. Pop your head out. Where'd you go? Oh, hey, you're over there now. Oh no! Oh hey, you're right there. It's kind. Of, this kind of seems way too easy, in my opinion. Just literally. He only hit me once and he just pops out every now and then. Just look at that. Way too easy. It's like whack-a-mole. Just attack him when he appears. Oh god. And is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. That's it. Nothing special. And the threshold isn't that generous. This was kind of a disappointing boss battle right then and there, if I do say so myself. So again, gotta heal myself. Come back to this. Now for boss number four. Oh, look at cutscene. Whoa. Hey, buddy. 
What's going on? Ah, you are finally here. Heh, <laughs> he's always on that defensive stance, really. The long battle is almost over. Come and get me, bummer boy. Uh, <laughs> that could take, that could be taken the wrong way. I'm sorry, but no, no. Oh god, what is this now? Oh, a little bit of a force field, okay. Let's try this again. Skip this. Get that, just get rid of that. Oh god. No! Ew. Come on. Come on. Get rid of. Oh! No! This is this is a bad start. Yep, that's a bad start. I'm sorry, but I don't want to risk dying and wasting more time, so. If it's a bad start, then I'm just gonna be doing some. I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over and over until it's finally good. Yep. Yeah! There. Oh, God! That's new. That's new. Okay, so I, rem I remember now. The red is fire. Oh, God! God dang, when'd you get so tough? God dang! I didn't remember it being this difficult. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Oh god, no I can't. This is bad, people. He's gone more tough. It's, oh, bad star right off the bat. Why can't I get a bulletproof or sorry, whatever, blast proof freaking. Oh god. I'm so glad that you could just quit the level at any time. You could just keep rage quitting until you finally get a good run. So, with this game, you could do as many jump cuts as you want. Just, just hopefully everything goes well for you. Come on. Okay, there we go. We're gonna choose. Oh, God. This is not going well. This is not going well, people. This is, ain't, this is not going well. I hate it when he throws all those bombs at you, but come on. Okay. Come on. What you gonna do? Oh god, I forgot you could kick your bombs. Why can't I kick bombs? Seriously, oh my god! Disc of Doom. Destructive Disc? Oh god, this is- no, this ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work, people. Huh. <sighs> if this keeps going on in the same pattern, I'm just gonna have to do a jump cut until we actually kill this boss. Cause, there's nothing really to say about this boss. He does the same thing over and over again. The same strategy follows. You get rid of his protective little antennas. And then you gotta get them into the spots because that's the better, that's pretty much the most opportune time you can use to actually go ahead and blow him up. Just have him go on to the attack because he's gonna stand there for a brief few seconds, time your bomb throws right, and then you'll be able to hurt him. God dang it. Come on, go to the other one. Go to the other one. Well, at least he stopped. Oh god. Stupid. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. Otherwise, you're just going to keep jumping and you have to pretty much try to hit him while he's in the air. Nope, this ain't going to work. So, I'll get back to you once I defeat him. Wow. Wow. We... we what? What? No! No! What? Oh my god. I kill him and he kills me at the exact same time. And apparently it still counts for my death because my death matters over his death. Oh my god. That's a first? Well then, I'll be back to you guys again. This was stupid. Okay, for those who are wondering about jump cuts, is that it's quite easy. If you have audacity, pretty much what you have to focus on is when you start talking again. Simple as that. It's oh god, it's really really easy. Just pretty much when you know you're gonna do a jump cut, you just don't talk. Honestly, you don't talk. And when you look at your recording or your editing software, and when you start to talk again, then you can just cut everything that you don't talk or where you don't talk out, so you know where to actually come back to, or however you wanna, however I was trying to explain it. It's pretty pretty simple actually. So that's when you know when to actually start it in a jump cut, whenever you stop speaking and when you start speaking again. So that's just a little bit of a tip for you guys if you are doing editing. And if you want to do jump cuts and you don't know where to start, where to end, or if you're looking at your editing program, 
where did you stop talking when you start talking again? So you could cut off the just dead space out. So it'll be a little bit easier for you to actually find out in where to when to do jump cuts. If I even explain that well, I don't even know. My mind's all over the place. I'm starting to learn how to do this now. And when I think about it, I just want to tell you guys. So once I defeat this guy, I'll just jump cut where I finally defeat him, I guess. I don't know. You probably will know an example.